Hey guys, we've got the Microsoft Surface Book One here with us today. It's um, obviously it's been a while since this first launch, so it's um, still very robust magnesium alloy body. So we just want to give you a sense of what it's like to use this machine in 2019. And obviously we're aware that you can find one of these machines at much better price than when it was launched. And to be honest, if you're using a light office workload, um, even the quite basic um, Intel integrated version of this um, Surface Book should be fine. Uh, one, of the, um, one of the first thing you just remember is just how solid this system feels. Um, it's so much better than um, a flimsy, for instance, a new laptop you can get with um, lower specification because when this was launched, the price was definitely premium. We've got um, the i5 um, 8 gig and 128 SSD, so it's pretty much the base version. Um, but, I mean, even for a base version, it's still got that um, very stunning pixel sense display. So it's some touch screen and um, it's really bright. Um, and I think, if anything, the form factor is really good for uh, multitasking and looking at two different things at once. Okay, um, yes, of course it's glossy, but I think because it's quite bright, uh, even in outdoors, um, it's, um, it helps the visibility a little bit. Um, if we just close it, and um, I think one of the comments um, frequently directed is that this machine doesn't have as many ports, so USB, USB, SD card, and um, mini display port and surface connector. So it's not as many as you would, um, may want, but I think some people might carry connectors with them. So that's one thing to um, have a think about. Um, okay, on the inside, so um, it's some backlight keypad and um, automatic um, brightness. So it's some, um, sometimes it's like in quite bright rooms, it's a little bit hard to see, but I think for the price you'll get refurb units ahead. Um, it's not as um, something to worry about. Um, and I think one of the unique selling point is and, uh, the surface, um, the display you can take off and it's just it's really good. So a separate battery unit in the keyboard fixed. Um, so that can be changed. Um, the SSD, it um, may be changed. I think it's M2, but taking it apart is very tricky. So it's, um, I think, just assume the SSD and RAM are there to stay. Um, obviously, when you get it, make sure you check the actual mechanism for the latch and that it's actually it can work smoothly um, some of the older units may have some issues so make sure you check that um, and obviously um, get an app such as um, HW, HW monitor to check how much battery there is left so you don't have to get another battery um, a few other tips might be that um, for instance on the base base um, on this laptop it's you can probably um, assume that some of the, because it's um, adhesive held, um, some of the rubber feet might be a little bit loose over time, um, but that's, that's just probably something to be aware of on the side. Um, another thing is basically, it depends on how picky you are about the display, do make sure that there's some, uh, you're happy with the level of, um, for instance, wears and marks on the display. Sometimes there might be some small wears and marks on there. Um, Obviously, a keypad you can quite easily clean it. Um, just don't use too much force, um, otherwise the key might, a keycap might uh, wear out. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. So, if you one of the thing is, um, if you compare this laptop, for instance, here's a 2017 MacBook. Um, so, we'll just quickly show you side by side how th um, well it's because it's quite an um, uncommon form factor. It's a little bit thicker than, a, for instance, really light and thin laptop. Um, I mean, obviously. The quality, you know, it's feels comparable. But I mean, this one because it's a little bit thicker, it feels quite oddly reassuringly to hold. Um, so it's um, the build quality is definitely there. But um, I mean, obviously, find yourself a right case, um, appropriate casing for it, um, so it doesn't apply pressure when it's closed. Um, when you buy a refurb unit of this, make sure that um, you do read the description, that sort of thing. Uh, there will be scratches on the edge especially, and um, but generally if there's any dents or bumps on the corners, <laughs> do be a little bit wary. Um, I think that's pretty much all the tips we have for you, um, except um, I think there's one last thing, which is the difference between the base, um, base Intel version and the NVIDIA version. 
Um, obviously, it depends on the price you get, but if you do want to get the NVIDIA version, uh, make sure you're happy with the temperature and um, make sure it doesn't overheat um, because that's something that's um, over time that can occur. Um, anyway, that's um, all the time we have for you today. Um, hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Thanks.